Hey, welcome. I see. Is it Mimi? I it's going by really fast. Hey there, y'all. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. One of my favorite things to do in the as far as healthy uh, living, taking good care of yourself, is juicing. I really believe juicing saved my life. And any of you who are interested in juicing, thinking whether or not you should you juice, yes, it's worth the investment, it's worth the financial investment, it's also worth the time investment, it's worth it. It will, it will change your life. Juicing will change your life. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. I have my recipe is a sort of a refrigerator recipe because I had ingredients in my refrigerator that were going to go bad if I did not use them. So that is what this juice is today. So let me show it to you. I've got a full head of celery right here and I've got some zucchini and actually I've got one zucchini but the zucchini is so large that it probably equals two regular size zucchinis. I have some mixed greens like just regular spring mix that you put in your salad. So I've got two packed cups of that. I've got a golden beet. I'm not sure if any of you have ever heard of a golden beet, but this is a golden beet, good blood builder. And I've got one green apple. And lastly, I have a lemon. Um, one of the things I want to say about green juice is green juice is one of those juices that are is filled with minerals, like absolutely filled with minerals. If you have a reproductive issue, as a matter of fact, what kind of if you have do you have a repro reproductive issue? If so, what kind? Tell me a little bit about it. Tell me where you're um, joining me from. But green juice is one of those things that if you flood your body with it, it will help your body get into a position to reverse any kind of issue. So if you're having trouble like with your skin, with your hair, with your, you know, your, your fingernails, all those types of things, if you keep flooding your body with the green juice, those things will eventually reverse. So I was somebody who had really bad cystic acne and I believe that juicing helped to reverse that. I had um, boils on my skin. I believe juicing helped to reverse that. So there's so many things that juicing, especially green juices, um, can help you do. Now you can do fruit juices if you want to. That's a whole nother story. Maybe I'll talk about that at another time. But green juice is what I would love for you to focus on if you're trying to get your body into a healing mode. So today I have got my Green Star Juicer. I love my Green Star. Um, if you were with me last week, you heard me talk about why I love the Green Star. I think it is, I mean, there are more expensive juicers on the market. This one is expensive. It's about $550, but it was the best investment that I have ever made in the kitchen. Um, it, I use it on a weekly basis. Sometimes I'm using it every day, and unless I'm being lazy and I'm not wanting to make juice. So this purchase along with my Vitamix blender is probably, those are probably my two um, biggest uh, purchases that I've made in the kitchen, but they were my two best purchases that I've made in the kitchen. So today we're going to go ahead and get started with this juice recipe. Um, so I'm going to turn on my juicer. Let me just tell you the recipe one more time. So that's one head of celery, like so a whole bunch of celery, one golden beet. This is the golden beet. I've got two packed cups of mixed greens. I have one very large zucchini, which you probably need two regular size zucchinis to equal this. I've got an apple, a green apple and a lemon one lemon peeled you if you use organic lemons you can 
put the peel through the juicer. There are some uh, good nutrients that you can get from juicing the peel of lemons. It doesn't make your juice taste that great, but it is a great health benefit if you juice the green, I mean, juice the skin. But one other thing I wanna say about green juice in general, say you make the green juice and it's like just too green for you, too bitter, too green. You can always add a lemon and you can always add an apple. Those two things added to the juice will cause your juice to either sweeten up or like kind of get rid of that green taste if it's too much for you. As a matter of fact, I could probably drink this juice without the apple and without the lemon and it'd be just fine because I've been drinking green juice so long, it doesn't bother me. So I, the green is like appealing to me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First of all, before I get started, my name is Chelsea Knutson, if you didn't know that. I am a certified holistic health coach. I coach women on how to heal naturally from female related conditions using food as medicine. And if you have been trying to um, heal naturally and you've had trouble, please watch my videos. Um, you may consider joining my 90 day walk to freedom from fibroids group coaching program. If that's something that if you feel like you need support on your healing journey, there's information in um, my bio. There's a link where you can find out more information about that as well as the juicing supplies that I use here today. So we're going to start with celery. I love celery. Celery is filled with vitamins and minerals and it also is good for digestion. It's good for the skin. If you're somebody who is full of inflammation, celery is going to be one of those things that you want to add to your juice because when you add the celery, it helps to bring down inflammation. One of the things that I find that women with refinement, especially fibroids or if you bleed a lot, if you have anemia, some women have swelling in their, in their legs and in their feet. Celery juice is one of those things that can help bring down the swelling in your in your feet. So always add celery. Also, if you're somebody who doesn't like to eat celery, it it really when you add it with all these different vegetables, it's almost like you can't even really taste the celery. So don't be afraid to add celery to your juice. Um, also, even drinking plain celery juice is going to help tremendously with the reproductive system. Celery overall is a healer and an um, alkalinizer of the body. So, I've got all my celery juice here. Next, I'm going to move on to my zucchini. This is a big zucchini. Zucchini is a juice, as it is a vegetable that yields a lot of juice. It's similar to a cucumber as far as the hydration is concerned, but, um, and it is good for your skin. It also helps with your digestion. Also, if you're somebody who is, who doesn't have a lot of energy, like you're trying to regain your energy, then um, zucchini is a good one to add to your, to your juice recipes. I'm gonna add this golden beet. Golden beets act just like red beets. It's just a slightly different nutritional um, profile um, in the amount of vitamins and minerals in each. Like so, like a like a red beet might have more vitamin A in it than a golden beet. Just for example, I'm not sure if that's true. I'm just using that as an example, just to say they are both fully full of nutrition. They are blood builders. If you are somebody who's anemic, you have menstrual issues. If you have ovarian cysts, if you look at a, look at the shape of a beet, it is similar to the shape of an ovary. So if you use beets in your juice, it's going to help to um, heal your, heal your ovaries. So green apples, green apples are full of fiber. Um, if you have asthma, if you have joint pain, apples are gonna be good for that. I'm using green apples, you can use 
apples, whatever variety of apples you want, but if you're trying to keep your juice low glycemic, it may be a good idea to use a green apple because they have less sugar in them than other varieties of apples. Although I don't really care about that kind of thing. Um, also, the other thing that's good for, the apples are good for is helping to cleanse the liver. And um, people who have fibroids or heavy bleeding, anything like that, we want to get our livers clean, cleansed because that's going to help your body to metabolize the junk that's in your body, specifically the hormone, the excess hormones in your body. If your liver is clean, it's going to do a better job of doing that. Therefore, you won't have as many issues um, when you have your menstrual cycle. Also, green apples are good for helping to boost your immune system as well. So I'm going to add these lemons. They are full of vitamin C. The thing about citrus fruits in general is they are um, very astringent. And what I mean by astringent is the most detoxifying food on the planet are citrus fruits. And what they do is they go, when you eat them or drink them, they go into your body. I'm going to just strain my juice. I like to strain my juice so it's nice and smooth. But when you eat or drink juice from citrus, um, what it does is, is it cleanses your cleanses your body like, like a little broom. So the most detoxifying fruit on the planet are, are uh, melons, berries, citrus, um, cherries. So those are the cleansers. The green juice green juices are the healers. So I'm going to start adding some of this mixed juice, just spring mix. And the reason that I chose spring mix was just because if I didn't use it, it was going to go bad. But you can't go wrong with adding spring mix to your juice because it's filled with minerals. And when we fill our bodies with minerals, our body wants to heal. It gets rid of the deficiencies. There are two problems that we mainly have when we're struggling with reproductive issues. That's toxicity and deficiency. Your body's toxic from the things that you eat, the things you put on your skin, the thoughts you think, um, the water you drink. That's how toxicity goes into your body. But then when we are so toxic and we are deficient because we're not putting the things in our bodies that are going to give us the nutrients that we need so that our bodies can thrive. So what we are doing when we use greens, when we make drink, make the green juice, is we are trying to get rid of the deficiencies because these are full of nutrients. And when we keep on feeding our bodies the nutrients, that's how our bodies will heal. So, just want to say that. So I got a little bit more. I got a few more um, pieces of zucchini. Um, the zucchini. Some people will tell me that they didn't realize you can juice a zucchini. You can pretty much juice anything, except soft, soft fruit. It's very difficult to get juice, like a juice yield from. But zucchini is one of those things that if you use it, you're going to get a whole lot of juice from it. Just like if you juice a cucumber, you're going to get a lot of juice from it. Um, also, the golden beet, it's not just good for, you know, building the blood, although that's a great reason to, to use it because most of us need that that blood building, even if we're not anemic, we still need it. Because it helps, the nutritional profile helps us to heal, our bodies to heal, but 
the golden bee is good for your heart, it's good for your kidneys, and also if you're somebody who has high cholesterol, it's going to help to break down that cholesterol buildup in your body as well. So I've got this last, these last two bits of celery that I'm going to put in, and then we're going to strain this juice, and then um, we'll taste it. See how much juice we made. If you're interested in the kind of juicer that I use, it's up in the um, cards. You can get all the information about what juicer I use there. So I have finished my juice. Let's see. Let's see how much this made. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I um, think juicing is the best thing you can do for yourself if you are struggling with any issue, any health issues, whether it be fibroids, whether it's um, high blood pressure, whether it's cancer, like whatever you've got going on in your body, you cannot um, lose by adding green juice to your life. Let's see. So that made about 38 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is taste it. Let's see what it tastes like. And I'm just gonna say it is very rare for me to make a juice and it not turn out good. I'm and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I've just been juicing for so long that I know how to put the flavor combinations together and they always taste good. Let's see. This one is delicious. It almost tastes like um, V8. This one tastes just like V8. And there's no tomatoes in here. So there you have it, ladies. I didn't see any questions roll over the, um, over the feed. But if you happen to have questions, you can always put them in the comment sections. I try to answer every last comment that I get. Um, yeah, try this recipe. I'll see if I can edit the video to um, put the recipe, but let me just tell you the recipe one more time. It's one head of celery, one full head of celery. I had one very large zucchini. It was, hey Sherry, it was, um, one large zucchini, which is probably two regular size zucchinis. See, Siri, Siri thinks I'm talking to her every time I say Sherry. That's so funny. Um, then I had one lemon, two packed cups of spring mix. You can use whatever you want. You can use spinach, you can use kale, you can use whatever. Um, then you can have one, there's one golden beet and one green apple. So one head of cel one head of cel celery, one large zucchini, one lemon, two packed cups of spring mix, one golden beet, and one green apple. So yeah. Anyway, ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Next week, I will be here again, um, same time, 11 a.m. on 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on here on Instagram showing you another juice recipe. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but that's right before Christmas. And yes, you should juice on Christmas Day. Yes, you should drink a green juice on uh, Christmas Eve. And yes, you should drink it all the way through the holiday season. Just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean you should not drink your juice. Yes, drink it every single day. Drink at least four cups of juice every day for best results to get the hydration your body needs, the nutrients your body needs, the healing benefits that your body needs. One green juice a day will change your entire life. I'll tell you a little story before I go. Um, I Back in 2007, my husband and I bought a juicer. It was a um, champion juicer at that time. I still have that juicer and I use it as a backup. Um, this one's absolutely a better juicer, but um, at the time that's all I knew. 
and um, I started drinking carrot juice and I drank carrot juice every single day for three months before I started drinking the juice I hadn't had my pe no I'm sorry yeah I hadn't had my period in six months I was extremely hormonal I had cystic acne I had all kinds of things going on with my body and I drank four cups of carrot juice every day and I and I ate like I teach you guys to eat on my YouTube channel maybe a little bit different because I don't, didn't know what I know now and in three months after a few days my period started I bled for 30 days straight and then after that my period came like clockwork I'm telling you that if you have a reproductive problem add the juice to your regimen every day don't be lazy don't be you know making excuses just drink the juice and eat the food like it's medicine and your life will absolutely change there is there is no way that you can keep putting one foot in front of the other by drinking this juice and eating the foods that I teach you to eat that you won't get well there's no way but what I think happens to people is that they have one foot in and one foot out and then they kind of prolong the process and they never actually experience the healing that they're looking for. But if you just do it, no matter how long it takes you to get on track and stay on track, you will experience the results that you are looking for. There's no question in my mind. These foods are God's foods. And they are the foods that we were uh, supposed to start eating in the beginning, but man messed it up somehow. And let's get back to the garden. Let's get back to the foods that make us feel good and not the stuff that is manufactured and processed and salty and sugary that make us feel sick. Let's, let's, let's drink our medicine every day. All right, y'all. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next week. Take care.